Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace your wheel bearing that you have worn out. It's got a wobbly wheel. You can check that by wobbling the tire vertically back and forth. If you have any wobble there, you probably need to replace your wheel bearing. This video I'm going to show you how to replace that wheel bearing. So we're down here, we've got the wheel off, we've pulled the king nut off here, and next we need to take off the brake caliper so we can get down to the hub back here. Okay, so I've removed the bottom bolt here from this lower A-arm, and I'm just going to drop this A-arm out of the way, and then we can get our axle out here. So you can see the play we have in our wheel bearing here. All right, so we're gonna take our tie rod ends off. We're going to disconnect both A-arms. So now we've got our hub out and we can get down to the bearing here. All right, next we just have to remove this bearing. So we've got our other bearing here. Um, I keep these in the freezer. This keeps them shrunk down. And then with the hub here, you want to heat it up so it expands, so it goes a little bit larger. This will help these go together a lot easier. And I'm gonna stick these here in the press. All right guys, I had a missing video clip there, but I'm gonna show you how I put this bearing back in. This is a Yamaha hub but it'll work for our purposes here. I'm just gonna explain the process here to make it easier for you guys. So when you put your bearing back in you want to grab your old bearing and use that to push your new bearing in and then it helps if you can grab a piece of metal and you can press it in with that. Get your new bearing in there and get it started and then use your old bearing to press it in the full way and this piece of metal is just for helping you press it in and it helps if you have a hydraulic press if you don't you can just lightly tap it in with a hammer and that is how to get the bearing into the hub. If you're finding these tips helpful be sure to smash that like button down below. Alright so we got a new bearing pressed in here. These are the coil 30 millimeter bearings. We can go ahead and stick our snap ring back in. Now even though this is a new bearing I did go ahead and grease it because I want to have good grease in there. All right, now we can stick it all back together. So I'm gonna slip this on here, on our axle, and then back on the A-arms. We'll go ahead and stick our brake caliper on now. the king nut and a cutter pin in that. This here is basically the axle nut breaker bar thing. This just holds the rotor here from moving when we're taking off this king nut here because this is on here over 200 foot pounds so it's a little harder to do without this. Go ahead and tighten this back down. We got our new cutter pin in. We're ready for the wheel. We'll just tighten all this down to spec and we're good to go. Be sure to subscribe if you aren't already for more ATV adventures. If this video was helpful for you on changing out the wheel bearing that was worn out in your ATV, getting it greased and all good to go, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.